Let's get it. Top J in this motherfucker looking like a bag of money. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into some things, I just want to let y'all know. Um, I do not know what this is on my shirt. So, don't be watching my video like, uh, what is that on my shirt? I'm going to clean it off as soon as I get to the restaurant. I don't know what this is. I had some hot wings and some ranch toast, but I don't recall dropping no food on me. So, I honestly don't know what this is. Oh, I tried to put these lashes on. This glue is irritating my eye. But anyway, I'm on my way to try out this restaurant in Naperville called Tapville. And of course, I'm late as always. But anyway, today was pretty crazy. I had went to, I had a client today. I only had one client. One client turned into six clients. Like back to back, back to back. And on top of that, I had to take my daughter somewhere. And happened to meet my sister out here at the restaurant in Naperville. So, I'm really rushing trying to get here, but I'm not speed. I ain't trying to get her that bad. But, um, yeah, then tonight I'm going to, uh, I think a drag type show for my auntie birthday. Then afterwards, like, your girl gonna need some energy because I'm tired. I'm tired already. This is getting on my nerves. This little piece of glue just keeps sticking together. But. Yeah, then I got to go home, get my hair done, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I don't have long to be out here. I'm giving myself probably like an hour because I stayed like maybe 30 minutes away from this particular restaurant. So, I got to go home, get ready, and then make it downtown Chicago at at least 7 45 because the show started at 8 30 and it ain't no parking so i'm trying to see if i'm just gonna park somewhere downtown and then uber to the place i don't know i ain't got that far yet i ain't figured it out yet but i just know that i need to be walking out of my house at 7 45 no later than 7 45 no later than 7 45 make sure i'm good enough the police know they be thinking they slick they just be sitting in the cut thinking somebody don't see them Boo, I see you. I see you, you see me. And I'm doing the speed. The right speed. I don't know. Even even when I am following the law, I get nervous every time the police come by. I'm like, keep looking at, the, at my side view mirror. But yeah, I'll keep y'all in tune once I make it to the restaurant. Bye. So this is why I feel like it's important to take a social media detox from social media especially Instagram especially all of them because the rest in peace of the young man that got killed by those five police officers in Memphis I hate the fact how they just release those videos and don't care about the victim family like I hate when people die or you know get murdered and things like that and they get leaked on social media why do y'all think people will want to see that like, I didn't even watch the video off the simple fact I cannot stomach to watch somebody get beat to death. Especially by people who are supposed to serve and protect. Like, just the thought of it, I was really crying and I didn't even see the video. I don't have to see the video for me to feel a certain type of way. Like, that's just crazy to me. And that's why social media can be... Social media is going to either um, encourage, motivate you, or that's going to make you depressed. Like, social media... It's very depressing at times. When you log on, the first thing you see is bad news. Bad, bad, bad. Don't nobody want to see that. I think they should make that a law. Like, people getting killed, they pull out their phone and record. Like, why are they releasing, the, releasing these footages? I get it, you know, for the investigation, for the court. But I don't think that's something that the whole world should see. But rest in peace to... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to mispronounce his word. I think Tyree. Uh, Nicholas. Rest in peace to him. And rest in peace to, you know, all the other victims that died to police brutality or just, you know, plain out murder. Um, but, yeah, I don't like, like, sometimes I delete the app just so, so I won't even go on there for a couple of days because 
that takes a toll on people you get on social media and all you see is bad news bad bad toxic excuse me toxic stuff like i don't want to see that all day i don't as soon as i reactivate not reactivate but as soon as i download the app again because i've been i've been doing pretty good i ain't been posting i ain't been on there but uh, as soon as i get on there the first thing i see is like this video all over social media from facebook from twitter um tiktok instagram like that's just crazy to me what about his family what about his kids don't nobody want to see that Say hello. Oh, it's really late. Yeah. Okay, she late, so it's all gone, y'all. Okay, which one I'm just so y'all know. We just taste the olive. Yeah, don't have it. Say what's up to my girls. <laughs> We're at downtown Naperville. Oh, dang, my bad.